I said, well, I ain't talked to her in a minute, x rayed it. Mm -hmm. I usually call them every now and then. What it do, what it do, Las Vegas. It's your boy, Sir Charles Tatum, back in the building, Hot 702.5, the hottest station in Las Vegas, where we're striving for greatness on a daily basis, man. We're up now, not next, not later, but right motherfucking now, man. And this guy that I got in the building with me, man, he's definitely up now. He ain't up next. Everybody talking about they up next. That next line is long as a motherfucker. Nigga. <laughs> Niggas been talking about they up next for a long time. Nah, man, we, we skipping the line. We up now, meaning... Like right now, we up now, right now in the moment. And that's what it's all about, understanding up now. You know what I'm saying? You got some people that say they up next, but this dude is definitely up now, man. This is, she loves two C's. Let's get into that. Uh, she <laughs> loves two C's. Where'd you get the name from, big dog? I mean, uh, it was just something that was catchy back then. Like I've been rolling with it for for a couple years now. Gotcha. You know, uh, always been like cool with the ladies and stuff. Right, you know right, 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 right. And, and the majority of my fan base was ladies. Okay. So uh, I, I kind of did that to, you know, cater to my fan base. That's, that's big because, uh, <laughs> you know, a lot of guys, uh, they don't do that, especially when they the, you know, the gangster rapper or whatever. <laughs> they don't really even think of a name that cater to the women, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, But you understand that, man. Uh, I've been following you uh, for a while, and only that, uh, once I saw Gang Slide, that video in itself just really, really, um, it made me have a different type of view of you. Uh, to, to, for artists to understand that, hold on, I could put this dude from this section on here, this dude from this section, we can all get along too. Thanks. How was that concept for you with Gang Slide? Um, basically, the way I looked at it was, um, you know, everybody preaches unity. Facts. But you don't really see the, the moves in unity, you know, right. as far as um, personally. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it, they always follow what somebody else is doing. Right. They don't really put their own moves into place or lead by example. Right. So basically what I did was um, I felt like the top, you know, I got, they're the top tier artists in the city. Okay. And when you look at top tier artists, um, a lot of them don't work with each other due to politics Facts. or what the next person may say or whatever. Right. So you don't, we have all these top tier artists, right. but they're not working together. Right, right. So that, so my point was to reach out to people I felt was top tier. You right, know, shout right. out to uh, Trey Bizzle, shout right. out Landlord, right. you know, a Vegas GOAT, you know right. what I'm saying? Right, right. I appreciate them for, you know, seeing the vision, hopping on the track, you know, right. blessing the city. That was a right. move for the city, right. you know, to show people that, you know, it don't matter where you from, if you doing music, mm -hmm. Music before everything, Facts. all that other stuff. Not you know, right. Keep that, keep that to the side. And Not real shit. If people rocking with you, they gonna rock it. They gonna rock with you. And, and you know the, uh, the, the, the love we got back, the feedback was was amazing. It is, especially <clears throat> the numbers on uh, Instagram. If you guys have not seen that video, check that video out. It's still doing numbers. Numbers is big. Your, your next single, Water, is doing numbers. Yeah. Also, man, yeah. just for a month, 50,000 views, yeah. that's big. About 53. Let me let me correct that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I'm a yeah. numbers guy myself. And when yeah. I saw that, I was like, oh, shit. It's, my, it's, it's moving. Yeah, you it's know moving what I mean? Right now. It, it's it, moving. Uh, it's moving. Um, it took it took a, a little while um, to get it to start gaining traction. Mm -hmm. But um, it's starting to gain traction now. Man, listen, dog. I got the track with Filthy Rich in the game and I was just looking at the numbers on that. 
and I was doing a comparison with my numbers to other artists, and you know how it, usually a Vegas artist they can have a video off of four five years and barely get two thousand views. Yeah. If you go back and look at a lot of people's videos, that's been out for a while. It's fifteen thousand or fifteen hundred. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm like, how is this possible? I feel I feel the reason is just not no knowledge of the game. Uh -huh. It's we put out all this music and we don't put a budget behind it. Gotcha. You know, if all you gotta do is it's so many different avenues to where you can put a promo budget behind you. And mm -hmm. you can you can get ten thousand views and spend like a hundred bucks, a hundred and fifty dollars. Not paid views. Hundred okay. This is promo ads, you know right, what I'm right, saying? Right, and right, right. You pay for an ad and somebody click on they have the option to click on it and continue right. watching and if they like it they follow you right and then you know they go to your other platform like it's it's different ways if you do your research and i just feel like artists feel like they entitled like they go to the studio i made this song it's dope y'all gonna listen to it this gonna blow up and right. they don't do nothing with it and then right. They just go and make another song. Right. And then right. they make another song. And then they make another song. You know what I'm saying? And you, you in not, the house. You're you not doing house. nothing. You're not doing right. nothing but pushing the song to the same people that already know who you is. Right. And you, you know, know what's what so so crazy that you say that? Because I preach that a lot. Uh, so many artists are so quick to jump onto the next project when the whole city ain't even heard the first project. Facts. Or people ain't focusing on making a, a single, one single that, you know, people gonna know you by your right. first and last name that's your single you right. know what i mean right. push that motherfucker to you know it get to where you want it to go uh understanding the business who taught you this business man man uh you being an independent <laughs> artist from vegas no label uh man having views and numbers like that how long you really been doing music seriously i seriously been doing music for about 10 11 12 years or something like that wow uh, seriously, so I basically learned all this off fail of failures, like mm -hmm. you know, trying something and then not succeeding. Right. So let's cross that out. Let's try something else. You know, um, a right. lot of wasted money. Yeah. Oh my, burned through <laughs> so much money. I believe you. You man. know, and then eventually, uh, just trying, just keep trying. Eventually, you gonna run into the the right people. Right. And then just learning. I've ran into. I've been blessed to build relationships and connections with people in different cities, different states that have yeah. showed me stuff and taught me stuff. And yeah. I, just, I just use it. How big is that for an artist to actually know not to? I mean, if you could save somebody from wasting time and money, what could? What would you tell an artist? Man, just find somebody that you can connect with or somebody that you can latch on to. Like somebody that will, that you can learn and study from. Right. Period. You know what I'm saying? Like, the the, the best teacher in life is experience. Right. So if you have somebody that's already been through that, if you can learn from their experiences to, to you know, it ain't really no shortcuts, but, you right. know, to help you from taking those L's, then you should pay attention. You know, you have to learn and study the game. That's, the, that's the biggest advice I can give anybody. Man, this dude got a head on his shoulders, man. Not only that, man, this dude talk with sense. And that's the great part about this uh, this, this uh, interview today. I know it's going to get deeper and deeper. Uh, we're going to jump into some music, man. We're going to jump right into Gang Slide, man. That's yeah. actually doing, still doing numbers, man. Let's get it, man. Gang Slide. Two seeds in the building, man. What to do? Jordan, give a nigga hang time. Murder mommies with a 
nigga hit the same crumb. Money in the safe, but we ain't from a safe side. Drummers hit that baseline. Blue rag, run that kizzy, where you from? Red rag, run that kizzy, where you from? Green rag, run that kizzy, where you from? Red rag, run that kizzy, where you from? Gangsta, gangsta, you know we gangsta. Tryna slide down the block and get a paint job. We're gonna die that up from that same side. I know bloods in Chris, but they bad squad. Yeah, it's a movie, only cause niggas actors. I put Lori on my back like I'm a raptor. Action math teacher, she'll tell you I'm a factor. Free me's and cheese till it's back. Gotta ask me where I'm from, then you don't know me, nigga. It's a gamble fucking with them. I don't roll with niggas. We was on the course together. How you back door, nigga? When it's time to chunk the hood, I back forward, nigga. I'm from Vegas. Far away from them lights, though. Trying to get some money. Far away from them white folks. Right, Never needed niggas. I'm quick to call out an ISO. Saying we don't fight one on one. And it's like that. Gang slot, gang slot. Four or five joints, give a nigga hang time. Murder mommies with a nigga hit the same crime. Money in the safe, but we ain't from a safe side. Drummers hit that baseline. Blue rag, run that kizzy, where you find it. Play around, run that kizzy, where you find it. Blue rag, run that kizzy, where you find it. Rip your set on me, tell me where you find it. I know you niggas heard that damn PJ. Let a nigga disrespect that going out like JFK. Salute my Reggie Creek, that's big folks. He from the GPK. And you don't want to fuck around over here in the DOA. Don't listen to that he say, she say. I'm just trying to make it to my VA. Regardless, I'm be straight. Gang members knocking on doors, yelling, come out and play. Get a nigga gone with the quickness. I'm talking about right away. These four fingers for all one. Now, hood gang. They ain't want to give me the ball. It was monkey in the middle. Then I found out that guns put you in hospitals. It's big money, bills, and press the line if you got issues. Put the 30 under the 40, we gonna make your mama miss. Uh, if you sneeze, I'ma bless you. We ain't handing out no tissue. Yeah, yeah. Fuck the competition. Yeah. Nigga, all the opposition. Uh, Put a nigga in a suit and go like he a politician. Yeah, yeah. Gangsta, gangsta. Gangsta. Four, five, you you know. a nigga hang time. Murder mommies with a nigga hit the same crime. Money in his... Gang slide. Two C's. Trey Bizzle. Taylor Weeds on the hook. And Landlord, man, this song, man, is still doing numbers, man. Representing the city in a major way. Uh, man, Gang Slide, it remind me of really um, the 90s era of gang banging. How it was at an all-time high, you know what I'm saying? From down the street to whatever it may be. Uh, your part or where you come from, and I, I'm learning this too, especially being a, a native here in Las Vegas. We grow up where we grow up from. That's our section. A lot of us ain't quoted into a gang. We just grew up over there now. That's our neighborhood. You know what I mean? Uh, the respect level that I have now for each section has grown because of music. You know what I mean? Like you were saying, no, ain't too many people can pull that off to where you can get a blood, a gerson, and a crip on the same. <laughs> you know what I mean? And like the person, right, too. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. So the importance of that, it really shows unity in so many different ways to me because a lot of people, they don't, when they come to Las Vegas, they ain't got no idea what's going on, bro. <laughs> they have no idea what's going on from no. whatever section, it don't matter. It just still boggles my mind how these people don't leave the strip. Uh, what is one of your marketing tools that, that you use, or how can I say it, uh, where do you where do you write from? Like you, you go off of pain, you go off experience, you go off of uh, hurt, you know, when you go to write, your angle. I honestly I just go in the booth. Like I don't write. I just go in the booth and whatever come out is what come out. I don't write. You don't write? No. Man, that's that's big. I I would never thought you would say that. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, nah, I, I don't write. It's crazy cause I just had somebody in the studio with me and uh they was like, you know, I was like, I don't write. I just go so as like you like driving during the day, you 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 like put up lines in your head. Yeah, yeah. Right I there. mean, I mean, it just depends. Like, if I'm on my way to the studio, I try to find it because I know I'm going to the studio. So okay. I would try to find a beat or find something and get a line, and yeah. then I go from there. But as far as having a full song laid out, yeah, everything, no, a hook, nothing. I don't have anything. I sit in there. I tell Nietzsche, shout out my engineer Nietzsche. Tell them put a beat on and let's see what we do with it. I sit there for a little bit and then I go in the booth and then whatever comes out, comes out. That's just how it is. Man, two C's in the building, y'all, man. Y'all make sure y'all check in with this guy. Make sure you follow him, subscribe to his channel, his music. Uh, inst YouTube, 2,000 subscribers. Numbers. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You say you've been doing music about 12 years. Uh, one of my things that really, really... Uh, made me do this show is because of how an artist like you can exist and the whole city don't know. 
You know what I mean? That, it just boggles my mind, even when it comes to any other artist, when it comes to landlord, when it comes to an artist of your of your class, in a sense, because it's like you got levels to this. Right, you know what right, I'm saying? When right, it comes right. to this music here in Las Vegas, uh, and it's like for you to be at where you at, it's like I truly believe everybody should know who you, who you are. I mean, for the most part, a lot of people do, but I get what you're saying. Yes, and, I'm talking and, about white folks, yeah, Asian, yeah, yeah, Mexicans. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 a, it's pretty messed up. Like yeah. the local hip hop rap scene, like we don't get nearly as much love as we should, or recognition as we should. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like the support is bare minimal. Mm -hmm. You know, especially when you go to these other cities and they support they artists like they're mainstream. It's crazy. It is. You know, you go to the club and you gonna hear 75% local music. Right. You know, especially like Atlanta, I spent a lot of time out there. So yeah. I know how to how the local scene is, it, how it goes. Nah, real shit. They local artists are their stars. You know nah, what I'm saying? Talk. Out here, it's kind of like, I mean, it's picking up now, but it's kind of like we looked at it as a joke. Like, it's a, yeah. it's a joke, but this ain't, this is not a game. Nah, we take sure. this serious. Yeah, so how do you stay motivated in uh, being a Vegas artist? Uh, my family, my kids, the people around me that depend on me. Yeah. Like, I, I told these people, like, I'm going to make something happen. And, right. and I plan on sticking to my word. Right. Put the work ethic in. Right. That's what keep me motivated. I don't too much pay attention to the negative stuff. I get a lot of positive feed, feedback from people in other states, other countries, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And that keep me pushing, that keep me right. going, you know what I'm saying? To let me know, all right, it ain't just my people that support me. Right. It's really people across the world like that really is vibing with my music. So you believe you're going to make it? Absolutely. I mean, I wouldn't be here if I didn't. Right, exactly. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> no, but, you know, it's just crazy because some, in, in the midst of their situation, on how it looks so shitty and not so put together in their career, I think a lot of people really doubt that. You know what I mean? They doubt it because of their circumstances on how things look. And they they like, damn, man. I don't know if I'm gonna do. You know what I'm saying? Nah, because I, I, of this, the situation. I get it. It's, it's been doubt. It's yeah. always moments where you go through doubt. You know, right. it's always moments where it's hard. Right. But the, when you look at the overall picture and just how far I've been able to come over these years and right. the things that I've been able to accomplish, right. it's no way I can look here and say, "Oh, I'm not supposed to be doing this." As far as numbers, you definitely supposed to be doing this because. Uh, 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 everything in numbers is everything. You can say whatever you want, but at the end of the day, if the numbers don't add up, it don't add up. Right. You know what right. I mean? So for an uh, artist at your repertoire, you deserve every good thing coming to you, man. You um, That's why you're here right now, because you hot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Only you hot, you got it. And I truly believe that the world need to know who you are, man. That's that's just how I feel, and you that's and the way. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> you and me both. They need to know that you exist. You know what I mean? Man, we're gonna keep this thing going, man. We got uh we got water, man. You know what? We're gonna save water. Let's jump into this uh J Diggs West West Pimp Juice remix. What it do? Shout out West West. Man. Yes, sir. Chinese letters, Mr. Miyagi. All about the cake in the sea, call it 
devil's crew. Devil digging bitches for the revenue. Carpet corner boys, asphalt animals. I told y'all niggas ain't want smoke, they want edibles. I ain't just paying my own lane, I made an avenue. Innocent W.A., yeah, I got an attitude, bitch. Ooh, you know I got that she code. In this game, get deep, I need that deep throw. She want to lie, but just ride her and breathe on. West West J Diggs Mouthpiece Chosen Rule Pimp Juice Remix Man Dope Track Man I'm happy for this uh this uh this breakout sound uh Vegas music uh they always say we don't have a sound or you know uh, I think our sound is futuristic uh, I think our, our sound should come with clarity I think we should be talking about different things that other people sh shouldn't talk about because of the city we've grown up in you know what I mean right, on the east coast they they use them vocabulary words and big words because of what they surrounded by stock markets water boats you know they see a little bit more cultural yeah. um I've watched Gang Slide, I've watched Water, and your presence, even your tone and your voice, it's almost like, uh, you know, when Dr. King speak and, and yeah. get the ringing, it's like one of the, you got that, 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 that voice. Uh, I, hear, I hear a little pain, and I hear a, like hurt, madness, you know what I mean? What you been through, man? What you been down through, man? I mean, growing up in the North, how was it for you? And still being here i know it's a blessing for you man because a lot of people done died you know what i'm saying facts facts, facts. i got a i got a lot of partners that that ain't here no more you know yeah i got a lot of people that i love that ain't here no more i got a lot of people that i love that's here and i don't mess with no more you <laughs> that type of saying? shit huh? it's just it, you know it's just a circle of life it's just all the right. things that we go through all the emotions the ups and downs the good the bad you know what i'm saying right right the right tears the, the right. joy you know whatever you know what I'm saying? The struggle. All bought you know up in one. It's, it's everything. So when it comes to my music, I bring all of that to the table. I don't right. just bring you what I feel you should you should hear or right, something right, right. that because I'm uh, I'm not confident in myself or something that I'm ashamed of. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, I'm not right. ashamed of anything. Right. Because one thing I feel is if I went through it, if it's a struggle, a hard time, a good time, whatever, somebody that's listening to my music, they felt them same emotions. They felt that same pain. So therefore, they'll relate to me. Know what I'm saying? Right, so, right, right, so that's right. That's what it is, basically. Right, right. You, you understood that health is wealth. You know, I've seen your post about you <laughs> yeah, know yeah, you, yeah. you getting your weight up and you know getting it back and you know what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, talk about that, man. How how did that make you feel? I mean, it feel good. I mean, I'm still on a journey, but it's crazy because. I didn't really, I wasn't really paying attention to it. I thought it was cool, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. You know, you know how it be, oh, man. You, you getting fat, you getting money. Right. So I was on it, you know. I'm <laughs> yeah. like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm uh, eating uh, right now, you, you know, know what I'm saying? But right. I had, uh, I had a, uh, up my policy on my life insurance. Gotcha. So they uh, came through and did some tests, mm. and then it came my, uh, my uh, diabetic. They said I could be diabetic yeah so after that i was like hold on right it's right. serious you know <laughs> yeah. they talk about not giving me more you know not giving me money and yeah. all this other stuff so i was like you know what this says let me go ahead and buckle them you know right. what i'm saying so so i i got it in check you had to bite that bullet oh yeah absolutely for sugar down man you know what's so <laughs> crazy man uh <laughs> just the way you talk you know what i'm saying I can tell that you really one of those dudes. You know what I'm saying? Just uh, your grammar, everything. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah. It's um, it's a, uh, it's just um, it's almost like 
when you can uh, walk in the streets or even in jail, whatever it may be, you know, it's a man-to-man egotistic thing all day. Okay. You know, I'm not going to bag down. You're not going to bag down. I'm going to make sure I don't stare at you too long because I don't want, you know what I'm right, saying, right, to right. be like, you know what I'm saying? But how do you avoid the drama because of the way you look? Like, you know, you know how it is in these streets, you know what I mean? And you've actually done a good job because you're still here. I mean, I've done a good job just because I, I know how to move. Yeah, there you know. You know what I'm saying? Like, right, right. I don't necessarily avoid drama. Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't want it. Like, yeah. I don't go looking for it. Right. But I'm an outspoken person. Yeah. And when you're an outspoken person and you speak your truth, your facts, and how you feel about a situation, and if somebody else doesn't see it that way, then it's a problem. And right, I'm not right. a person that's going to back down off how right, I feel. Right, right, right. I mean, we can, if we, we could come as men and, and come to a, try to see if we can understand each other's situation. Right, right. And I can see if I understand you. Yeah. But either you're going to understand me or it's just going to be what it is. Like, that's that's how I am. That's, right. that's how I I'm a man. I stand on my own ten toes. Right. I don't avoid drama. I just, I don't go looking for it. Straight you up. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. I don't right. go looking for it. Yeah. That's, 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 I understand that too, because it's like growing up, uh, growing up on the west side, uh, I had to make a choice at a young age on what side I was going to choose. And it's not like, hey, I was like, oh man, I wanted to do it, right. but it was for the, <laughs> it's like, hold on. Yeah. I live on Crib City and I'm going to drill team practice with the Gersons. Right. So it ain't like, damn, I can't be a 60, because these <laughs> niggas going to beat me up every day. We talking about like 90, 91, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so it's like, yeah. you know, then mom still ain't even having that anyways with no gang and bang and stuff, because she raising me in church. But I still got to get out here and protect myself and still know how to move. Right. So that's, that is that is uh, really a, a great answer, man, because learning how to move will still make sure you stay here today. A lot of people don't know how to move, and they're not here because of that. Facts. Um, Facts. Man, you are a very intelligent person. We, we're doing more talking today than playing music. Uh, I really uh, just want to pick your mind because at the end of the day, I understand that you understand how vital it is to really appreciate your life and know how to put it all together, man. So a lot of people don't know how to put it together, meaning like hatch one egg at a time. I know who I am. You're not going to move me on who I am. You know what I mean? And, it's, and you ain't forcing your way up on nobody either. I mean, like, I know I'm right. Nigga, here, this is the way. You know what I mean? Right, you're still right. finding your way and you ain't uh-huh. pressing it up on nobody. And that's big because as an artist, I don't never see you in a pack. Nah. On social media, I don't never see you with a whole bunch of people. Like, nah. you know, uh, and I ain't saying that. To anybody that roll in packs that that don't you know make you somebody, but when a person can really really stand on their own, ten, and don't need it, you know you you ten people by yourself. That's the way I look at you. You know what I mean? Versus Thanks. seeing you with a bunch of people to make you who you are. Thanks. Now I'm not two C's, y'all. This is a, a great individual, <laughs> and you know it's just I, I just want to give you flowers while you're here, and this is what it's about at the end of the day. Uh, October second, we got the striving artist meet and greet pull up. This is designed for the public to come out and meet the artists and witness the merch, buy the music, but it's free to the public at that because we want these people to come in here and see the see what we got going on, you know, mm-hmm. trying to get the city in a frenzy about Vegas music. Like, it's, it's just kind of crazy on how these people are not excited about what's about to happen. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, because yeah. it's like, because when it, we all picture how it's going to be when we take off and it finally hit the pandemonium and everything else. And if it happens for everybody, the city is going to be in the frenzy, Thanks. you know what I mean? Thanks. But these people really got to know who we are today. So that's why we're here today, Striving Artists Radio. Up now, man, Hot 702.5. We're going to keep this thing going, man. We got two C's in the building, man. Yes, sir. What do you feel about Vegas music, bro? I love it. I love it right now. Like, I honestly love it. Like, yeah. coming from, I mean, you being, like, right. we don't have the light that we should have, but we starting to get a light. It's starting to right. pick up. Yeah, no, you know facts. what I'm saying? Outside, other cities are starting to notice that we have artists and we have talent out here. Right. And and that's great. You know, uh, people are, I feel like the artists out here are starting to be more serious about their craft as far right. as videos, where they recording, the quality, right. Right. everything. You Not know what I'm saying? Um, it's, it's steps. Right. Like we, we moving in the right direction. Right. And, I, I truly believe that also. And I'm happy, you know, to be a part of it. Yes, sir. Man, free Mac Preach, man. Let's get it, man. This is Vegas Life featuring Smoke. Mac Preach, Vegas Life. Everybody should hear this song. Everybody should have this, man. Let's get it, Mac Preach. What it do?
with yourself, you know what I mean? Preach smoke on the on the feature, man. Vegas life, man. That is a dope, dope song to me, man. I really truly believe, man. That's like one of those songs that the whole city should hear. You know what I mean? Just by the, the feel of it. Wow. Yeah, he oh, naming wow. the streets. Oh, you know what I mean? Mario's everything. That's mm -hmm. it's, it's made for the city, and for it to not. Hold on, man. Let me see, man. Cause I'm a numbers guy. They got 1,300 views in nine months, bro. Gotta put that promo behind it. Yeah, That's but, yeah, that too. But a song like this is so, for the, for the city. city. For the city. Yeah. For the city. You know But I mean? it's just like you said earlier, uh, the city don't be knowing the artists. Right. You gotta put yourself in front of the, of, of the people in the city for them to at least know your face if they right. don't know your name. Right, right, right. With that being said, <laughs> you know, uh, <clears throat> the billboard that you had riding around the city, man. Right, right. You believe in marketing yourself. You know, you really, you you are really, really showing not only me, but if anybody's really watching you, that you can do this and you believe in yourself, man. From Gang Slide to Water to the billboard to Striving Artist Radio today, your confidence is out of the building, man. And that's something that I truly believe every artist should have, man. You don't you don't lack the confidence at all. I'm serious, bro. That's that's big because I've had a lot of interviews with people and they they not just so uh, comfortable in their skin. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like I gotta pull stuff out of them versus like right, you know right. I, I can't do I can't ask all the questions. Talk a little <laughs> bit. You know what I mean? So it's like I can yeah. just tell you got so much to bring to the table. I'm just finally happy this interview is going down today, man. Man, y'all make sure y'all tap in with two C's, man. Um, what is one of the things that you want to do once you make it? One of the things. Like for the city. For the like city. Like if you ever said you was going to make it, like what is one of the things that you want to do for the city? Uh, I mean, it's a few, but one of the main, one of the main things would be to, to open up more doors for, for the hip hop community and the black community in general. Right. But because we are part of the hip hop community, hip hop community, we understand how much, 
how much we have to go through just to get a crumb right. of this entertainment business. Right, right, we right. don't have a place in this entertainment business at all outside of Dre's. Yeah. You know, so it, it makes it hard for the kid that's trying to grow up mm -hmm. and he wants to be a rapper, but right. there's absolutely right. no outlet for him to be that. Right. So not, I not would, even a, a building to go hang out yeah, in. Yeah, there's to, nothing. Yeah. So for me, it would be to create an avenue for kids like that. Right, right, right. I'm real big on the youth, man. Yeah, like, yeah. Really big. On That's what's up. We got to get something together then. I got this uh, rally the troops. Got to do more work. It's just a lot of more work to be done. Uh, not only you know, on my behalf, but I truly believe a lot of artists, uh, I found myself sitting in the Laxie Daisy spot. Not many Laxie Daisy, but if, if my phone don't ring, if ain't nowhere to go, I'm going to sit at home. You know what I mean? Right, right. Versus just being out there for no reason. You know how it is now. It ain't like it used to be. Nah, it ain't. Day and night used to pop. You know, just people's houses used to pop. You know, the neighborhood used to pop. It just, pop. It just ain't the same no more. Right. Um, but knowing that, I have a lot of time to sit back and think. And to the artists that's listening today, man, take the time out to think. Think things through, man. Think about your next move. Uh, work on a jingle. Uh, make a single that is undeniable. Make a single that... It's catchy, you know what I mean? I want somebody to really get it, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I don't care, like, I always use Laffy Taffy as an example, you know, it's just, any, it's just gotta be simple. It shouldn't have to be that hard, man. Nice. And it's like for, like you say, a lot of artists go on to album after album when the people ain't heard the first one. Nice. You know what I mean, ain't heard the second one. So nice. get, that, get that time, get that thing some time. Let it push, let it do what it do, man. Uh, water, the video, everything about it, man. Let's talk about it. How did you even, uh, bro, doing it in front of the stadium? Was that your idea? Yeah. Yeah? I mean, all, all my videos pretty much be my idea. Okay. Like, I'm I'm behind. You hands-on, hands-on. I'm hands-on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, uh, shout out to Lonnie, Real House. You yeah. know, we always do amazing work We make together. that noise, too. You know what I'm saying? We always do amazing work, but, you know, I come up with a location, or we'll come, you know, we'll put it together, but I just felt like, Nobody's shot at the Raiders Stadium. It's been here for, right. you know what I'm saying? Right. And nobody's shot it. No, nah, you're right. <laughs> like, <laughs> come on. Like, you yeah. get what I'm saying? Yeah, like, if yeah, we market yeah. into the world. No, nah, you're right. This is Vegas. This, and it's huge in Vegas. Growing up here, we yeah. ain't have no pro team. No, nah, you're right. Nobody shot at the stadium? Yeah. Did you got to get a permit? No. <laughs> it's open. Man, we was out there, man. <laughs> That's crazy. Party bus coming. Man, I gained I gained a fan out there, man. Like, hey man, this is dope, man. Uh right, right, right. What's your Spotify? I'm gonna check you out. Whatever. Like just Didn't out. know it was an artist. Then, man, either, man, they seen us shooting, they wanted to know what was going on. Right. It was tours. There's a bunch of tours come through that parking lot and take pictures at the stadium. And we don't shoot we're not doing nothing there. Like, and you know what, bro? And I hey marketing scheme or not. I don't know if that's why I got 50,000 views right now, but you know what I mean? I, mean, I don't know. It you is know, what but, it is. But at the end of the day, you know, it was, and it was, like you said, it was simple. Yeah. It was simple. Right, like, right. It really was. I seen it. I was like, damn, <laughs> that shit hard though in the same way because your lyrics, then the Raiders and the stuff, what it stand for, the stadium, you you had the city in that. That's that's big, man. Man, y'all water is right here, man. Two seats in the building, man. Striving on this radio, we're gonna get into it. Water the official video. Make sure y'all go check this out. Run it up. Don't be a hater all your life, man. When you was out there when I hit you, you told me you was in Atlanta. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
But that was like the first time I went out there and recorded in that studio. Patchwork. It was yeah. like one of the best of the studio. Yeah, yeah. I had the engineer in there and he was going crazy. Like, oh, like, yeah, this is yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like you rap too, right? Two C's, man, with that water. Don't be a hater all your life, man. Run it up, man. Let's get that thing past. Let's get that thing to a hundred thousand views. Yeah, yeah. Hundred thousand views. Yeah. It's definitely, it's it definitely got the potential for it to be out one month, and it's already at over fifty thousand views, man. Let's get this video up for all y'all that's listening right now. Play that mug back to back to back. Let's keep that thing going. Let's break some numbers. That's what I, I want to see happen for a Vegas artist. I truly believe what well, I really want that person to have a mind like you that get on. Don't be yeah. selfish. Right, you know what right, I mean? If the wrong right. person get on first, you know what I mean? Right. And we're going to beat him up if he don't <laughs> fuck up. <laughs> you, every, every, you got every set coming at you, homie. Because it's like at the end of the day, you got so many people that are all working together that wouldn't work together because of this music thing. Right. So, I, you, man, it's crazy on how a person like you can set the tone because I guarantee you there's a lot of other people watching you, bro. It ain't just me. Uh, yeah, the yeah. way you carry yourself, the way you do things, because with gang slot and then with water. Now, I understand for a person like me, just now really seeing gang slot as your first single, uh -huh. your first video. This is my, my way I'm introduced to you right. by gang slot. Right. Like, damn, who's, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. Who's this dude? Yeah, yeah. But it's like, then it was like, I'm watching everybody, videos, the numbers, everything. You know, it's, it's not a competition, but you know you want to be doing good yeah, when yeah. you're dropping music. Yeah. And I seen that, and I say, man, this dude, he he really really got what it takes. Versus seeing an artist and be like, oh, he got a long way to go. You know what I mean? Because of, you know, I'm saying because yeah, of the confidence, yeah, the delivery, yeah. the the. I mean, that self confidence thing, man, that shit is major. Facts. It's major when you really believe in yourself like that. Uh, from Gang Slide to video, from Water to video, complete artist. Uh, you can be the best in the booth, but it's how the people perceive you out in public. Facts. You know what I'm saying? The way you carry yourself, everything about you, true definition of a striving artist, a person that's really, and it's crazy, right? So a lot of people don't know what striving artist is. And, and I heard uh, uh, Noriega, he was having an uh, interview with somebody on uh, the, uh, the Drink Champs. And he said, you know, at that time, uh, you know, we was, we were striving artists, you know, before we got paid. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. You, at the break, right before you're getting about to get paid, there's a striving artist when you're still getting paid, but you ain't getting that, that big check yet. So it's a lot of people ain't even stepped into the striving artist part yet because they're not getting paid. Their music is not uh, on ASCAP or BMI. You know what I mean? They, they're not taking it serious. You know what I mean? There's so many different steps to it that I truly believe that if a person like you do get on, it's gonna really, really open up doors for so many other people because of not having a selfish heart. Um, tell me if I'm wrong or not, but I truly believe no matter what happens to you, if you keep your heart right, you'll get blessed. Absolutely. If you, if you in a, it's crazy. I just told somebody this. I just told somebody this. If your heart in the right place, the results will follow. You know what I'm saying? If yo, if you do something, and your heart is in the right place, and you really committed to that yeah the results will follow it might not be the results that you looking for right because we all you know had a high expectation mm -hmm. but you got to take the you got to take if it's any type of gain or positive you know any right. type of positive right, you gotta right, take right. that you no, feel facts. Me? so uh with even that being said uh taking the positives taking the gains and just knowing that 
you know, I heard you say that you truly believe you're going to make it. And I truly believe you are, too. That's just without a doubt. That's no cap. I truly believe you're going to make it. And I don't know how it's going to happen. And I think that's what we all worry about, how it's going to happen, when, who's going to hear me, who, you know, how it's going to happen, how it's going to happen. When did you stop worrying about how it's going to happen? Um, when I just, I don't know, it's, it's, it's weird because I really used to press the issue. But then I noticed that it became stressful. So, and then I wasn't having fun. Yeah. So now I'm just having fun. And this is the product of me having fun. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I like, it's no, no pressure. Yeah. Like, when you put that pressure on yourself, like, you pressure. Like, yeah, yeah, I yeah. remember I used to be like, man, when I get this age, if I don't make it, I'm done rapping. So I'm pressing, pressing, yeah, yeah, pressing, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. To make it within that time frame. Right, right, right. When, in all actuality, you can make it at any age now due to the internet and right. all these social streams no, right. and TikToks and all yeah. that. It don't even matter, you know, no, right. you know what I'm saying? But I just when I wanted to get back to having fun and being at peace, making music, that's when I really stopped caring about making it or not. And that's when everything started really happening for me. Right. So, do, do you care about people liking you? No. <laughs> no I'm saying that because... <laughs> yeah, said that. Not at all. I don't, I don't care. I yeah. don't, not at all. But not at okay. all. Okay. Now, let's, 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 let's go to, to uh, artist mode. Every person you walk past could be a ten- potential fan, right? Right. When in one at a time. Uh, a lot of people, I truly believe this is how everybody wants. They want to just, it, it's going to hit for them, and then everything just going to fall into place. Do you believe that? Like, you know, without putting in the work, because it's like, I used to, even she used to tell me, or some people used to tell me, you know, you ain't made it yet. You still got to push it. You still got to, uh, you know, uh, share it. Facts. I thought I figured one, one interview, this motherfucker right here is, yeah. but I still got to push it. Facts. You know what I mean? Still got to push it. And to all the artists that is listening, if, I know you see him on here, and don't envy this man. Don't get jealous, and don't be like, dang, I wish I was in his shoes, but understand that he's been putting in work, and your time is going to come, but you got to put in the work first. I, I preach it all the time every Wednesday, every Saturday, to the person that's sitting on the couch, sitting on your gift. It's a lot of people in the graveyard that's dead and had talents and gifts, and they never unlocked them. Please don't be one of those persons that have a chance every day to wake up, to better yourself, to open up your gift, and, you, and you're not doing that. Life happens, man. A lot of shit that we put ourselves into, we put ourselves into it. So don't get the blame in everybody for the things that you like and the things that made you fall off the wayside. What you need to do is now get yourself back on track. Stop beating yourself up about the past because you can't change it. You got to let it go. There's water under the bridge, water down the duck's back. Spoiled milk. You get it? Just you got to let it go so you can really get yourself together. You still got a chance. You're still alive. While you got warm blood in your body, while your limbs still working, while your mind is still right, you still got a chance to get your life together. You still got a chance to make your mom and your dad proud. I know how it is to get beat up and to fall off a track, bro. You know what I mean? <laughs> and just lost it in the God. sauce. You know what I mean? I, it's a bad feeling. It's a bad place to be at. And ain't nothing like having a peace of mind, man. So to the person that's out there struggling today, with being tormented through mental thoughts or whatever it may be, man. The devil is a lie and the truth ain't in him. You got to know that you have a purpose here on life and start working towards your purpose. Why are you sent here? Why are you here today? You're not, you're not here by accident. I just want to tell you that. You're not here by accident. You are here for a reason. You have to find out why you're here and work in that. And I truly believe if people worked in their gifts and their purpose, there'd be a lot of senseless deaths that wouldn't be happening. Gotcha. You know what I mean? Because gotcha. having a heart, it's, it's one of the biggest things you can have. Because, man, if you've got a, a heart at heart, it's, it's hard for anything to come your way. You know, and I truly believe that because of that, the music is the way it is. To shoot them up shit, to shoot them up 30s, everybody got, you know what I'm saying? It's just, yeah. Yeah. man, I don't get it. Like how they really got their mind set up like this is the way to be when it's really not. The, they all following the same old blueprint, a way that they didn't create, and it's leading people to prison or to the graveyard. Right. And you know, it's, it's a you got to understand that this ain't made for everybody. When they say stay on the sidewalk, stay on the sidewalk. Right. Ain't nothing wrong with being a square man. Ain't nothing wrong with being a basketball player. Ain't nothing wrong with chasing your dreams. But don't follow the same path that everybody's following, especially these young black men. It's just, it's all over. It ain't just in Las Vegas. Oh, it's all over. The, you see it all over the internet, man. And the, the people lost in the sauce. So to the artists just listening today, man, make music that's gonna have a purpose. Uh, Know that people are watching you. You're not invisible. They see you. They see you. 
and we all want people to support us, but understand the right people will come and support you as soon as you step out on faith and make things happen, man. Uh, two seasons in the building today, man, and uh, it's just uh, it's always good when I can talk to somebody, iron sharpens iron, and you can bring the best out of me also. You know what I'm saying? Right. And that's what it's about, man, striving to be better on a daily basis, man. We here at Hot 702.5 FM. I just downloaded some more of your music, man, uh, here on Apple Music. So I just want to go back and uh, give me something uh, that I can play that people ain't heard that you uh, that you think they should hear. Uh, play Tiz. So Tiz is another single that I'm I'm pushing right now um, on my upcoming project, dropping later next month. But uh, I just ain't shot a visual to it yet. But it's in depth. You know, this song got a meaning, and it's completely different than Water. You know what I'm okay. saying? It's completely different. But you know, it's relatable as well. Well, that's good though, because you got gang slime, <coughs> got water, and then we yeah. got tears. Yeah, and here we go, man. Two C's, man. Make sure y'all tap in with us this Saturday. Striving Artist Radio, man. We up now and our next, not later, but right motherfucking now, man. What it do? C's in the building, man. They say time go by fast when you're having fun, man. <laughs> it's 12.52. My time is up, man. But uh, this dude, Two C's, is a, a great person, man. A great person in, in person, uh, online also. But as far as just uh, meeting you in person, man, from over here, I can feel your energy. And I salute you, brother. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You came a long way. Uh, and I truly believe in you more than anything. Uh, not only just because I met you, man, just because of your presence, man. You're here. Yeah. You know, we, we we live in a we live on a, on a planet where anything is possible. I, you know, my my days that I, I I my dark days I realized even when I lay in the bed sometimes I used to feel the earth spinning. I, I I swear I felt like it. You know, but it's just being in tune with yourself, man, and understanding that you living on a place on a planet where anything is possible. Michael Jordan came, Jay Z. These people didn't know they was gonna be that big. They didn't know it. You know what I mean? We, we we come here. Superman was sent here on the meteor. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? When you understand that you sent here to do something, man, you know, you can't avoid it, man. Once you put your hand on that plow, you can't turn back. Man, the Striving Artist Radio, man, but we're striving for greatness on a daily basis, man. We up now and our next, not later. Bump Vegas music, man. Two C's in the building, man. Run him up. Follow him on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Download the new music, everything, man. Support two C's, man. Uh, a great artist to support. Uh, the dude really got a head on his shoulders, man. And uh, that's a great thing versus just somebody reckless out here. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, you got a bunch of nutheads out here. And uh, those are the type of people we need to move out the way for artists like you to come to the forefront. Because a lot of people that's in the way with the bullshit music and just need to be moved out the way, man. So we definitely going to have our time, man. Thanks for tapping in the gate again today, people. Hot 702.5 FM, the hottest station in Las Vegas. Peace.
solid. Two C's.